said about your improving your three percentage over the summer. What exactly did you put into that, you know, that process? Um, I just would say just getting reps up, just um, making sure that um, constantly trying to shoot the, the same shot every time, and um, you know, credit to my trainer Stefan Martinez with Dig Deep um, and the focus that we had this off season um, on just trying to improve our corner, especially our corner threes, but just all around shooting. But um, that wasn't just the main focus, uh, just being a better all around basketball just been my main focus this year and um, just bringing that defensive um, energy that we're going to need this year and trying to um, teach these young guys is what I've really been focusing on that the shooting will come I think that'll be the icing on the tip on the cake. Do you have a, a goal of, of percentage wise what you would like to be from three whether it's from the corners or just all around? Uh, no like I said I haven't really been focused on too focused on the three-point shooting, I think that'll come with, you know, being more confident in repetition. But I've always been a great basketball player without it. You know, um, that's never been the focus of my game. That's never been the focal point of who I am as a player. Um, so for me to just go into an off season and just be like, I want to do this, this, and this, um, was never my intention. What's it like for you right now? You're one of the veterans, I guess, on this team. Uh, just how different do you feel coming into this camp as opposed to your first year? Um, like I think that it just gets um, it's different every year. You know, um, I remember my first training camp, um, not knowing what to expect. I just think that now, you know, every year it gets a little easier because you just know what to expect and um, things are going to just become easier because I've been there before and um, I'm excited. I'm excited about the group we have. I'm excited about um, the new guys we brought in, and this is going to be a fun, fun, fun year and a fun experience. Right. Jay Sean, you, you mentioned your first training camp here when you got here. You know, you were no, known as a hard worker, um, a scrappy player, especially on defense. Do you see that same type of mentality in Tari's? Uh, definitely. Um, Tari's the type of player that just is always around the ball, and I think you. You know, Rocket Nation saw that in summer league. It's just that anytime there was a dead ball, um, he's around it. Anytime that there's a, you know, deflection or or a loose ball that needs to be be uh, recovered, he's around it. And um, that that's a that's a skill and a talent in itself. And um, there's not a lot of players that um, bring that to the table. And it's always good to have um, multiple players like that um, on a team. Pretty sure you've played more games for the Rockets in the last two years than anyone has. What have these two years been like for you to go through what this franchise has gone through? And then how does that impact what you want, need, or expect coming yeah. up? Um, I think that, you know, there has been a, a lot of lessons learned. It's been a lot of um, situations that I had to put in, have been put in, and um, other players on this team have been put in that um, I think in that the long long road we'll, we'll, we'll appreciate them um, you know right now uh, looking back you know we're obviously not where we want to be um, but you know these are the things you have to go through to to make something um, you know worth being memorable you know this is this is something that you know we hopefully look back in a few years and be like I remember that time uh, we were you know last place and um, I think the, the main thing that I've learned from this year being with the um, Rockets is just that um, you just got to, you know, keep on keeping on. You know, like you can't let it get to you. You know, you can't let losses get to you. And you just have to continue to focus on the big picture and just try to stack good days and, and try to be the best player you can be. Coach Silas mentioned during one of his off-season interviews that he was intrigued by you and LP playing together because with LP out there, it's harder to put the five on you for the other team. What are some of the differences uh, for you playing next to Shingun relative to you know the last couple of years playing next to Christian? Uh, yeah, LP, um, like you said, is I mean he's one of the best um, big man passers. I think if not the big, best big man. Uh, pastor that I've played with in my in my career. So um, 
it definitely, you know, I, I feel like I compliment him as, as well as I com he compliments me just because I'm such a off-ball cutter and um, it allows my strengths because they can't put the five on me as well. So um, just uh, I think that when me and him are in the game, it gives the teams a, a, a hard read. Um, it gives them a, a different look, and um, I hope that we can do that more this year. Hey, Jay, Sean, um, how would you describe the, the culture of this team or the culture that you guys are currently trying to build here? Uh, I think we're trying to build, a, uh, I love the word electric, because I feel like we've got a lot of guys that um, do extraordinary things. Um, I feel like this team is going to be fast, athletic. We're going to be the team that people hate to play against, because you know you're going to have to bring your track shoes, and um, we're going to play hard. Um, that's our whole focus is just going in and just giving it all we got. You know, you get tired, we got a whole nother, uh, uh, a whole nother team of young guys with fresh legs ready to do the same exact thing, and I think that can be dangerous. Thank you, Jay Sean. Thank you.